So, right, let us start with the fact that everything we're going to talk about is just rumours, it's murmurings, it is all alleged content. However, we always have to say, there is a lot of smoke, which sometimes there means there is a fire, and all the usual players who are good at reporting these things are chatting about it. But again, early on the 11th of January 2023, as these words are coming out of my mouth, Really, we don't know. But overnight, Stephanie McMahon has resigned from WWE. Nick Khan is now the one and only CEO. Vince McMahon is back at the chairman of the board, all because apparently WWE is about to be sold to Saudi Arabia. Why? Good question. Here's why. Now, I do know there's a lot to get into this, but no, if all of this is true, it's not very good. The premium live events that do happen in Saudi Arabia are one thing. We've talked about that a lot and how difficult they can be. But if the company actually gets bought by that state, all of a sudden we have a bunch of other problems, both logistically and morally. And I'm sure you do get it, so I would just leave it there. But I will say, as a wrestling fan, this is the last thing that I would have wanted. I don't think it's particularly good at all. For now, though, I shall give you as much information as I've been able to garner. Although, forgive me if I do get something wrong, because there's a bunch of details coming flying into my face. But basically, using mad crazy power, Vince McMahon has retaken over the WWE board, got rid of half the members of said board, and he now is in a position to sell the company. So he's moving the chess pieces around, so basically soon he can be back at the tippy top and doing who knows what. And if this whole time you've been wondering, well, I wonder what Vince McMahon has been doing ever since he left WWE. Well, I would hazard a guess it's been talking to Saudi Arabia in order to try and pull this off. If it does go ahead, you can imagine that Vince McMahon will then once again have his finger in all the pies, including having creative control. And what that says about Triple H, I don't know. Now, just to give you all the rumors, there were some other reports going around that apparently he's going to be moved to like manager or something or other of international events but we do have to hold our hands up and repeat once more at this juncture we just don't know so i would implore you to take all of this with a pinch of salt especially because sean ross sap he of fightful.com even mentioned when he did his podcast maybe all of this was leaked to the internet so the company could gauge it and go well man, public reaction is absolutely terrible and i do hope he's right for all that we've already mentioned but i just struggle to believe it because if this was the case and anybody actually cared about it, I don't think Vince McMahon would have come back in the first place. Other publications too, such as Entertainment Weekly, have even got involved with this. And they said that they think the company is going to be sold for $8.5 billion, which is way over market value. Which would also mean Vince McMahon would stand to make around about $3.5 billion. And try and process that in your brain. Of course, this is chump change for somebody like Saudi Arabia. But it just makes you look at how the company is structured... Well, it beggars belief. It also brings into question why Stephanie McMahon resigned in the first place. I mean, one, could it be that she did vote against bringing her dad back to the board a few weeks ago, so now we've all gone succession? Or two, did she hear about the Saudi Arabia plans and was like, Pfft, I want nothing to do with that because it's not morally right at all? Or three, is it because WWE is being sold to Saudi Arabia and they said, well, you can't have a woman as the CEO of the company? I can't believe I even have to say those words. I mean, just remind you how troubling all of this is, although in regards to that last point, Newcastle United, the Premier League football club, were bought by Saudi Arabia last year, and Amanda Staveley is still involved with that, and she was a major player of sorting out that takeover. So I just felt it was right to throw that out there, because once again, my catchphrase for this video, we just don't know. If it does go ahead as well, what does this mean overall for WWE? Because the Live Golf Series, which is a Saudi Arabian-backed golf league, they are really struggling to get TV rights and TV deals right now to the point there was actually a rumor going around a few days ago that they're just going to give away their UK TV deal just to get it in front of people and then hopefully make money on it down the line. So what if all of a sudden USA and Fox who do air Raw and Smackdown decide, well, we can't really be in bed with you anymore because it doesn't look good at all. So we're walking away. So if that does happen without those lucrative TV deals, WWE is actually in the red and is actually losing quite a lot of money which then brings up the issue of what happens to the majority of their employees. I mean, does it mean we're going to have to release a bunch of office staff and a bunch of wrestlers, even though we just sold the thing for almost $10 billion? Because once again, that just doesn't compute with my brain. It's also a kick in the stomach to even think about, but again, the majority of WWE's worth is coming from the likes of Raw, SmackDown, and the WWE Network, and how much other people are willing to pay for them. And given that we have just brought that up, what the hell happens to the WWE Network if Saudi Arabia does buy it? It means they would own the archival footage 
So maybe it just vanishes forever. You've been holding on to those DVD and Blu-rays. I certainly wouldn't change that now. It also stretches to other merchandise and licensing deals such as Mattel. What if they go, well, we can't make action figures for you anymore because you've done this deal and you actually start thinking about the long-term future of WWE. I think it puts it in a little bit of disarray. I mean, that's kind of true anyway, and you're gonna have to forgive me because we're gonna get morbid here, but one day Vince McMahon is gonna pass away, and it's gonna happen to you, it's going to happen to me, that is all our fate, and unless someone like Triple H does hold on, and who the hell knows what he is going to do, then Saudi Arabia owns WWE, I just think that opens a whole can of worms. So quite frankly, I'm stunned by the whole thing and going back to what we were talking about earlier. Surely this means Vince McMahon is booking things eventually, maybe in a couple of weeks or a couple of months down the line. And that too comes with its own ups and downs. Because if you do enjoy reading about all the reports from backstage in WWE, the one major one that kept coming out is ever since we did have this change, morale in the company was higher than ever. And never forget that happiness reads happiness. And of course we could all wake up tomorrow and realise this was a bunch of nothing because it does go away, but given that it is absolutely owning wrestling internet right now, what else could we talk about? I will end by annoying a load of people, but I do think it's important to say in situations like this where even if you're not a fan of AEW, you should look over at All Elite Wrestling and realise and understand the importance of its existence. Because one company having zero competition doesn't help anyone, and at least this way we have options. And trust me, I lived through 20 years of the alternative, and this is a far better situation. I also do think there's one last sentiment we should throw out there, and that is that Sami Zayn is a terrific professional wrestler, and in 2022, he was basically the MVP of WWE. And just to tie in everything, as mentioned at the start, I don't want to go too crazy with this stuff, but if you know, you know, and I did think it was important to tie these two things in, is that damn Zayn, he is one hell a professional wrestler. Now, my word, if you would like to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about all of this, please do. But remember to remain respectful and be nice. I mean, it is a pressure cooker of a situation. And the last thing we need to do is start yelling at each other. Then please do like the video, share the video and subscribe. Absolutely keep an eye on whatculture.com where we will update you every second throughout the day. We shall do the same on social media at whatculturewwe and signmiller 316 And if you would rather watch the details, There'll be loads of videos too. I mean, who the hell knows what happened when I was recording this video. But my name is Simon for What Culture. Thank you for watching me as always. And yeah, I'm very worried about this. I don't know how it's going to affect you, or how it's going to affect me, or how it's going to affect wrestling. It absolutely would not have been my choice. But we remain positive Pete. We shall get through it together. Take care of yourselves. See you soon.